This video includes the general requirements for blue and advanced blue belts. Os. Okay, there are typically four kicks that I like to teach new blue belts and advanced blue belts. Yoi. Right leg back, both hands up. The first kick is your inside to outside uh, roundhouse kick. Uh, in Japanese, it's referred to as uchi mawashi giri. I itch. Ni. Son. Shi. Go kiai. And switch. Same way, your uchi mawashi giri. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Kiai. Switch. The next is your outside to inside. Roundhouse kick in Japanese, your soto mwashi giri. Ready, I one, two, three, four, five. Aye! Play switch with your left leg now. Ready, one, two, three, four, five. Aye! And switch. The next is your groin kick. Uh, in Japanese, kingiri, K-I-N, kingiri, and it's sort of like a low front snap kick aimed at the groin area, but instead of pulling your toes back, you're pointing your toes and using your haisoku. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, aya, I switch. Same way, your hidari kingiri, your left groin kick, ready, itch. Ni, san, shi, go, aya. I switch. The fourth kick that I like to teach new uh, blue belts and advanced blue belts is your back kick. In Japanese, your ushiro giri. I ready, one, knee comes up, look over your shoulder. Good, two, three, four, and five. Then switch. Now this is the first kick where you use a different part of your foot. You use your heel. In Japanese it's kakato. K-A-K-A-T-O. Your kakato. Ready, itch. Knee up, look over your shoulder. Good, two. Three. Four. And five. Hi. Go ahead and all right. So those are the four kicks. Your uchi mwashi giri, your soto mwashi giri, your kin giri, and your ushiro giri. All right, down stomach touch. I like to introduce uh, slightly more difficult push-ups for blue belt. So let's make our hands extra wide. Double the length of your shoulders. And push up. And one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ki -ai. Ai -ai. And let's stand up. So in addition to those four kicks, there's also some uh, new basic uh, hand techniques. Yoi. We're going to stay in furodachi, our normal stance. Both hands are out. Right hand pulls back, uh, left elbow pull in, or left hand pulls in to extend your left elbow. This is your roundhouse elbow technique, your roundhouse elbow strike, and in Japanese, hiji mawashi ate. All right, one, two, fist stays close to your body, three, four, five, kiai. Right elbow up, palm towards your ear, your rising elbow, in Japanese, hiji age. Ready, one, two, three, four, and five, kiai. There are also a series of open hand techniques, or what we know as knife hand techniques. The way we say knife hand in Japanese is shuto. It's written S-H-U-T-O, and the U in the middle of the word is compressed, so instead of being pronounced shuto, it's pronounced shuto. The first one is your shuto ganmin uchi, which is your knife hand strike to the face area. Ready, one, 
Your hand is your eyes height, your temple height. Ready, two, three, four, and five. Kiai, aye. Turn your hand downward. The next one is your shto, sakutsa, uchi. Sakutsa is your collarbone. So it's your knife hand strike to the collarbone. Ready, one, two, three, four, five. Kiai, aye. The last one that I'd like to introduce to blue belts and advanced blue belts is your shto uchi uchi, and it means knife hand inside strike. This is your shto uchi uchi. Ready, I one, make an X, and then the inner hand comes out. Two, side hand goes on the inside of the X and come out. Ready, three, on the inside of the X and come out. Four, and five, ki ai, ai. Fingers straight. Your last open hand technique that I like to teach new blue belts is your spear hand. In Japanese, uh, it's pronounced it's nukite, which is N-U-K-I-T-E. Ready, one. Aiming for your throat height. Ready, two. Three. Four. And five. Good, and relax. And the last set of uh, kihon, basic techniques that I like to teach to uh, blue belts and advanced blue belts, are your uraken strikes. Uraken is spelled U R A. K-E-N, and Uraken is your back fist. All right, so let's bring both hands up. And the first technique is called Uraken Shomenuchi. It's your back fist strike forward. We're aiming for the bridge of the nose. We're bending our wrists when we extend our arm. Ready, I one, two, three, four, five, ki Both hands here. The next one is your Uraken Sayu Uchi. Sayu is spelled S-A-Y-U. And it means back fist strike going to the right and left. Ready, I one, two, look each direction. Three, four, five, kiai, aya. Right hand on top of your left. The next uraken strike is your uraken furiuchi. Uh, furi is spelled F U R I, I believe, and it's your back fist swinging strike. Ready, one, strike behind you, and then that hand comes underneath. Ready, two, Strike behind you, underneath. Ready, three, top hand strikes behind you, underneath. Four, and five, ki ai, aya. The last one, left hand is up. This is your uraken mawashi uchi. Ready, itch. Hand out to your shoulder, then behind your back. Your back hand comes and strikes. I two, hand that's out to your shoulder, side hand behind your back, and come around and strike. Again, ready, three. Four, and five, kiai, good, and shake it out. So those are the four uh, back fist strikes that I like to teach uh, new blue belts and advanced blue belts. Uraken, shomenuchi, remember uraken is U-R-A-K-E-N, correct. Uraken sayuchi, uraken furiuchi, and uraken mawashiuchi. Okay, uh, there's also a new kata that I like to introduce to blue belts. Uh, and that new kata is your Taikyoku kata, version number three. And we'll do that now. Ready, yoi. And itch, left hand on the bottom. Turn your left foot into a back leaning stance. Middle inside block, ready, two. Punching stomach, ready, three. Four. Five. Six, punching face. Seven, eight, 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 nine, ten, ish, knee, look before you turn, ready, sun, she, go, erk, eight, sish, hush, key, ji, and all right. Good, so as you'll see in that kata, we introduce a new stance, and that new stance is your back leaning stance. Uh, about 70% of the weight is on your back leg, 30% is on your front leg. And the name of the stance in Japanese is kokutsudachi. That's K-O-K-U-T-S-U. And dachi is spelled D-A-C-H-I, back leaning stance. This kata, like your previous taikyoku katas, have 20 motions. You ki on your 8th motion and your 16th motion. 
And uh, one of the things to remember about this kata is you're punching stomach throughout the kata, except when you move forward and back. So for instance, middle inside block, punch stomach, middle inside block, punch stomach, down block. Then when we go up the middle, back and forth, we punch face. Okay. Now for uh, some blue belts who demonstrate uh, significant progress or advanced blue belts, uh, sometimes I introduce them to Pinan Kata number one, but generally I like blue belts to simply learn Taikyoku Kata number three. And finally, uh, blue belts should continue to progress in their conditioning, in their sit-ups, in their squats, and in their sparring. Um, so I will do some brief shadow boxing, just incorporating some of the new techniques we've learned. A fighting stance. All right, students should remember to keep your hands up, to twist your hips, to make a proper fist. Ay, hajime. And that concludes the general requirements for blue belts and advanced blue belts. Os.